<laughs> Hello my darlings, welcome back to my channel. Oh, can't believe I haven't said that since last year. <laughs> Sorry, okay. First and last joke, happy new year, season greeting. I hope everyone is ready for 2023. Why does it feel like there's fur? That's probably because of one of the items I'm gonna show you today. Anyway, I'm not gonna waste too much time because we have got so many things to get through. I haven't done a haul in, I wanna say years. Today we're doing a collective haul, what I've been buying lately, a peek into my recent purchases, into my closet, a very messy closet, but I'm so excited for everything here. Like so, so excited. Before we continue, I wanna just say a huge shout out. Thank you to today's sponsors, ASOS. Thank you so much for sponsoring today's video. Your girl's been shopping on ASOS since the beginning of time. I've been shopping on ASOS since it was, since the beginning of time, since it was called As Seen On. So we go together real bad. So I'm really excited to show you everything I picked up. We're gonna start with ASOS and then we're gonna move into some of the things I picked up in the January sales. Got a mix and blend of various price tags, various places. So let's just get onto it. I feel like I'm waffling so much, but let's just get on with it. Let's start with accessories because it feels like the easiest thing to do and also like the most obvious. You guys, do you remember these? I have these hoops in gold and they pretty much broke the internet and have been breaking the internet. Like they were out of stock, back in stock, out of stock. Now they have them in silver. Oh, and I'm really in my silver era. As you can see, I've got my choker. Silver, silver is really doing a lot for me. Uh, it reminds me of secondary school me. Secondary school me and silver all locked in. But yeah, I got these hoops in silver. I absolutely, absolutely love them. I just think they are so, so divine. Everything, of course, will be linked in the, Lord. This fur is because of the coat I'm gonna show you guys. I've only got one outer wear and I'm gonna show you guys and that's why there's so much fluff on everything. I've been wearing it endlessly, but oh. Furry coats, fluffy coats get absolutely everywhere. Next, we've got some baseball hats. Me and baseball hats, all we. I got a baseball hat from ASOS a while ago that was white. So I get from ASOS, so I get from weekday. Anyways, I've misplaced it, so I had to pick up a new one. So I got this one, it just says LA on it. Super cute, it's more of a cream color. As you can see, like my top is cream, closer to cream than it is to white. So it's more of a cream color. Really, really like this. And then I got a black one from Von Dutch. Von Dutch. I don't know why it's me and the words are falling over each other, but Von, Von, <laughs> hello? I got this hat from Von Dutch. Oh, is it Von Dutch? Von Dutch. I'm just gonna stop saying it, but you guys, you can see it. If I have pictures of me with things on, I will obviously leave it. If I don't have pictures, um, I pretty much have pictures of everything, pictures of videos or pretty much everything. But yeah, this is super cool. These are just so cool, especially if you can't be bothered to do your hair, if you're a wig wearer or braids, you know, if I can't be bothered to do anything with my braids or if I just want that kind of look, I just throw them on. Absolutely love them, cannot do without hats. I literally live for hats. And then lastly on the accessories vibe, I got these Crocs. Now they are really similar to another pair of Crocs that I've got in this haul, but I prefer these ones. These are like platformed. Um, let me show you the other ones I've actually got. Or should I show you? Let me just show you them now because then you can. Let me show you now so you can see. They're similar, but they're not. Like, look at the sole. The sole is really where they differ. But they're essentially like these ones from ASOS are like platform crocs. They're super, super cool. I really like them. You can see. It says croc on the back. I think these are so edgy and so cool. I'm a big croc wearer. I love crocs. I. I have more Crocs than I would like to admit, but I really love them. So I wanted to get some platform ones. I got, this is like super platform. Depending on what kind of vibe I'm trying to go for, sometimes I'm not trying to do too much and sometimes I am. So when I'm trying to do the most, these will come out. Like, look how cute they are. I've been wearing them around a lot. Any weather, rain, shine, storm, I will be in my Crocs. Make no mistake about it. Someone asked me actually if these were as comfortable as the normal ones. Um, yeah. The only thing is you might, it might feel a bit weird. Why is there a handprint on my window? That's weird. Anyway, it might feel a bit weird walking on these because obviously they're like rubber soles, but platformed, but they look so cute and so edgy and I just love them. I'm really, really happy with these. So that is it for accessories. Now let's talk about clothes. So with clothes sometimes, guys, if they're not too pricey, I will get the same item in different sizes. Just because I tend to fluctuate in size or you know if you're on your time of the month and you're a bit bloated and you just want some, just something a little bit 
with more room just to feel, make you feel more comfortable. So I will fluctuate between a six and an eight a lot of the times or on the bottoms like a 10 or an eight. So I got this super cute skirt from Topshop and it's in this like crinkle, can you see it's like a wrinkled, crinkled, it's not really wrinkled, there is a word for it. There's a slip. It's got a cute little slit, I, I mean the video photo will, you'll see it in more detail. But I really, really like this, I actually got two sizes, I got it in a 12 and I got it in a 10. I don't know, am I bugging? Sometimes the bigger size is a little bit longer. And I actually got it to wear quite casually with like a bralette or with a vest, something cropped, just something super, super cute and cropped. If I'm gonna go quite long and flowy on the bottom, I like to balance it with something quite skimpy on the top. Yeah, balance. I love it, I love it. So that's what we got, two of those skirts. I feel like I'm going through this quite slowly considering how much stuff there is, but yeah. Oh, this could even go with that skirt. So I got this high neck. I've really been loving weekday. There's a lot of stuff here from weekday. This high neck, I get this like a crinkle, bubbly, what do you call this material, guys? Oh no. But this is really, really cute. This I got in a size eight. I think it's an eight. There's another top I got that was so cute. I'll leave it linked, but you have to size up like two sizes. I could not get my arm in the sleeve. I got this in an extra small, small. And honestly, guys, this is very, very stretchy. I would size down. If you want a nice fit, I would size down because it is, look at that. But it's a nice length, open-ended vibe, which I love on sleeves. I just think it's so flattering. Just have it, you know? Really like that on sleeves. So this is something I'd wear with jeans. I actually bought it to wear with cargos. Jeans, cargos, that skirt I've just showed you with a baseball hat, um, pair of trainers, Fanny's your aunt, Bob's your uncle, Fanny's your aunt, you're good to go. Really simple outfits. This is why I really reside in black. Black goes with black. Black top, black bottoms, and you're good to go. Black top, black skirt, black top. Do you know what I mean? Easy outfits. And sometimes I just get really bad decision fatigue. I don't want to think too hard about what I want to wear. I just want to wear something cute, practical. I can go to my meeting. I can run around town. All that really good stuff. And something like this I can take into spring, summer, because I can wear it with shorts. Love it. Cargo skirt. Ugh. Possibilities truly are endless. This is another one that I got in two sizes. One thing about me, if the website has a corset, I'm going to buy it. If the corset is bandeaued, I'm going to get two sizes. This is really, really nice. And the bandeau, this is quite structured. It kind of reminds me of this uh, dress I have from Christopher Esper in the sense of the, the structural bit. But this is so, so cute. I just love this. And I, this is one of the pieces I also got in two sizes. I got it in an eight and I got it in a six. The six fits. And I actually think the six holds up my boobs better, but the eight overall feels nicer on like the rest of my body, which is so annoying. It's like the six holds me perfectly, holds the girls perfectly, but the eight hugs my body nicer. You know, sometimes you just want it to feel comfortable. Sometimes I don't want to breathe, but sometimes I want to feel comfortable. If I'm going for like a snatched, I'll wear the six because it's all snatched. But if I'm going more for like a dinner vibe, jeans, I'll wear the eight and just, double up and boob tape basically but this is so cute it's like a sweetheart corset i really love this like i love let me see if i can i just love that it's really really nice um is that everything from asos before i move on is that everything from asos no the last thing from asos i just wanted a cute look i'll be honest not the best quality not the best quality but sometimes you just need a throw on bag and you're on your way do you know what i mean like just something some outfits just need a little bit more pizzazz, but it's not worth spending mad money on a pizzazz bag. Sometimes cheap and cheerful does the job. Up close, slight jump scare, I'll be honest. Up close, slight jump scare. There are bits that have lost their sequin, but overall with an outfit, I'm not mad at it. I really love the way that looks. Silver, silver, silver. And then it's got the cute little gold elements because I like to mix metals a lot. So I might wear gold rings silver everywhere else and I actually tried it on with an outfit and it looked really really cute so I'm not mad at this at all that's it for ASOS Woo! I feel like I need a drink of water let's do skims we'll do selfages and we'll end with essence because I think I have the most maybe I have the most I don't know anyway let's just move on okay so I was in the gym with my girl my girl Candy large up Candy that's my dog for real we were in the gym um, and she was wearing this compressed top and I said, hold on, hold on, hold on now. 
<laughs> wait a damn minute where is that from i need that expeditiously and it's from skims it's like this compression top and i have the normal fitted cotton tops from skims this is not the same it's a compressed material and i bought it primarily to wear to the gym but i've also been wearing it out and about as well so i bought two sides um two so one for the gym one for out and about but honestly after it's been washed who really gives a heck i've got two it doesn't matter whether it's for the gym or out i've got a backup basically but i really like this the way this body looking snatch body looking dumb and ridiculous so I, of course if i like it i'm gonna get in, a, in a more colors you know so i got it in the white this top i'm actually wearing right now with some skims so i got it in white as well skims top i wear extra small and i also got the vest version also the scoop vest this primary to wear with long skirts that long skirt i showed you from asos with this pulled up at the sides and my chunky crocs my cream baseball hat put something together quickly i'm just stepping out on a brief one you know or skirt long skirt this trainers baseball hat or trainers sunglasses no baseball hat stepping out on a calm one not really doing too much but i look put together hmm do you see nice cute basic staples yeah that's really the vibe we're going for clean well put together but still eating and leaving no crumbs did you get it yeah that's it that, that was the vibe i was going for the thing about skims is obviously on the pricier end particularly for basics but it's one of those ones that you slap it on your gift list on your wish list christmas list birthday list boyfriend friends family it's one of those ones that ugh, i might not want to spend 56 pounds or however much it is on this but i know my friends will bless me when it comes around to gifting time so stick it on your wish list sometimes you know boyfriends partners friends they just get you a just because gift so you just have to start putting the feelers out there to be like hey send them this video and be like oh how cute is that top she's wearing oh, i would love to get that you know send it to your friends that pay attention though don't send it to the ones that don't pay attention because you're just <laughs> the lovely 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 chloe chanel she is the founder of mb studio she sent me their latest drop oh gorgeous like st stunning cannot wait for an opportunity to wear this the skirt and the way she's created the silhouette is so so flattering chloe you did a madness and you knew exactly what you were doing because this is just sickening gorgeous 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 the skirt very good very good quality i love the way it comes up like that the way it comes up is also nice because you can low-key high-key make the two-piece look like a dress or you can like obviously section off and make it look like the top and skirt which it is one thing i will say though go and check <laughs> how they do up the top because when you look at it i actually didn't even realize i would need that how-to video so i was watching the how-to video and i was like oh that looks easy enough then when my package came i was like hold on now how did, how did she tie this up real quick and i like the top because it's versatile you can wear it as a bandeau you guys know me and bandeau me and decolletage me and exposed chest we go together real bare we are locked in for life do you know what this sorry quick break and thought the other day i was watching um mel's story and she was talking about how she feels like she never has an original thought anymore and ever since my brain just rotates tiktok isms that's all it does tiktok isms all day all day long all night long everything i say is a ism or a schism from the school of tiktok so and the reason i'm even saying this is because i i've caught myself doing it a couple times in this video alone and i'm like let me just address this because some people if you know you know if you don't you're gonna think is everything okay with this girl <laughs> and i just want to confirm that i'm actually okay i just spend more time on tiktok than i'd like to admit let's get back to the haul so this is so this oh i'm really i'm silver i'm really loving the silver trend at the moment and this is so gorgeous like this is a oh, birthday boyfriend's birthday special occasion night out with your friends the club dinner oh and it also comes in blue i actually really wanted the blue but the blue sold out so fast but the way the blue sold out was very disrespectful <laughs> very disrespectful because sold out before i could yeah tears in my eyes but big up chloe this oh mb studios oh they've just 
It's just been hit after hit after hit. Right, let's do one pair of shoes. This is a loan, a loan one. I don't want to touch the back because I've worn these outside. But these, how cute. I really love New Balance. New Balance really have a deep choke hold on me. I actually have a pair similar to this silhouette. I do, I'm, I'm not gonna sit here and lie to you guys. But they're just so comfortable, so practical, and I just find them so cool looking. I really am a big New Balance fan. Guys, if you're watching this, send me New Balance shoes. I don't wanna pay for New Balance shoes anymore. Can you guys send me some now? I wear them to the gym, not these, but I wear New Balance trainers to the gym, New Balance on the, like I literally have eight pairs of New Balance and I've added one more, I'm not buying any more for some time, but I really love these. They look like they're coming out gray on camera, but they're more of like a mm, sage green. That's more of the color of these, but they are so, oh, so yummy. I just love them too much. Gorgeous, I even wore them today with my outfit. Oh, 10 out of 10. Let's end with Essence actually. Let me do Zara Selfridges. And then we'll end with Essence. Wow, this haul is going to be very, very long. I got these, I saw these on Memu, on Instagram, Memu Conte. So she's in, she's in Ghana, not Ghana, sorry. She's in Sierra Leone or she's come back now. I don't know, anyway, she went to Sierra Leone over the holidays and she wore these and I said, those? She wore them with white socks. That's my vibe to a T. So these are from Zara, had to pick them up. I'm also going on vacation. I'm also gonna wear them with white socks. And you guys are gonna remember that I said that and big up Memu for being my inspo. These are so damn cute. Wearing these all into the summer and a quiet taste for sure, but I just really, really like them. They're like the chunk, chunky sandal vibe without the, you know, Chanel price tag, which cannot complain about that. And they're actually surprisingly quite comfortable for something platformed and mainly rubber with the front raised like that. They're really, really nice. I really like them. This is what I picked up in the Selfridges January sale. I'll be honest, Selfridges had the best sale. I was really messing with their sale. The only annoying thing is I feel like they took stuff out of my basket. I remember putting so much in there and loving a lot. And then when it came to checkout, I was like, wait, where's, like this got taken out. And then I remember them went back and added it in. Gorgeous. This corset, their House of CB sale on Selfridges for January. Rude, rude. It was so good, but I got this top, gorgeous. I got it in a size small, stunning, sickening. This would even look cute over top of this. Oh yeah, gorgeous, stunning, stunning. How am I so obsessed with everything I picked up? This skirt, I've got it in a different color. I've got it in the blue, yellow, that wavy, I have the, three piece set, it's basically a skirt, a bralette and arm warmers. I wore it a lot in the summer. You've probably seen it on my Instagram. So I thought, let me go ahead and pick up the brown version and actually get it in my size. Because when I got the blue wavy, cool, gorgeous pattern, Essence only had it in a medium and it is a bit on the loose side. So I went ahead and picked up the brown in a size small. And this is an outfit, it's actually very, very cute. Very, very cute. Hold you in all the right places. These two, stunning as a pair. I didn't actually buy them buy them to wear together, but they look really nice together. When it says your order's on its way and then you have to go back and double check what you've purchased, when you forget what you purchased and you're like, damn, what did I get in the haul again? Anyway, this is the one that I remember seeing and I was like, why did I buy this? But I really, really love the way this looks on. This is from, oh, sorry, the skirt that I just showed you, it's, it's a boulder. The top is House of CB. This dress, mini dress is from Meow. Super cute, it's got a sweetheart line. I would probably wear it off the shoulder, more than likely, but I like the print, it's very different. I don't really have too many super colorful, interesting prints in my wardrobe, so I just wanted to add like one interesting dress. This will be cute on holiday, cute in the UK, cute with trainers, cute with flats. Potentially even wear it with heels, depending on what kind of vibe I was trying to have. But I'm enjoying it. The only thing I would say is the back bit, could be taken in a little, 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 little bit, but I think it's essentially built for girls that are quite straight at the bottom, and obviously I'm not straight at the bottom, so it probably would sit a bit nicer if my bum was less big, but my bum ain't, is not gonna get less big, so we are going to make it work. I'm not gonna show you what they look like on, but the bikini sale was making my heart sing. I had to do a, a little haul for my friends and show them, 
but I I will show you the ones I got. This is from also a lot of new brands I'd never heard of, which I'm quite I'm quite happy to discover new brands. Always happy to discover new brands. This particular brand, what was it called again? Had so many cute bikinis. I wanted the whole collection. Remind me of the name now. Okay, here we go. It's called. That's not what it's called, is it? Guys, the label and the thing say two different things. Lord, this says Paul Palmiza. Palmiza. Whether or not that's what it's called, I don't know. But this is so cute. Little cut out there, and then obviously the bikini top also has a cut out. And I decided to get a lot of my bikinis, all of them except one. I think this is the one that was only available in a small, was it this one? Yeah, this one was only available in a small, but the rest of them I got in a medium. I would always get bikinis in smalls, but I feel so much more confident in my body in the mediums. It feels less like the fabric is beefing with my body. Sometimes it feels like the fabric and your body are at odds, at crossroads, and I don't like that. I just want it to feel comfortable. I don't want it to feel like I'm spilling and, you know, flying over the, spilling over the fabric. I really hate that. So I was like, let me just get everything in the medium there's adjustable straps so the worst comes to worst you just adjust the straps but at least for the most part it just feels like it's just sitting on your skin rather than you know so i'm very happy about that this little number right here oh this little one got this electric blue set from and unfortunately you guys are just gonna have to go look on the website to see what it looks like on the model because i'm not about to get on here Sorry, this one goes like this. The top is like that. This set from, very, very cute. Cannot wait to wear this from the Attico. In Morata also was another one that had so many cute silhouettes. I ended up going for this print. The top is a bit more like mature. Not mature, but it's a bit more fabric than I would typically wear, but I just love the way it looks. I love the color as well. The color is super pretty. I really love the silhouette on the bottoms. It reminds me of my bikini from, what is that damn brand called now? Um, I can't remember the brand, but it basically reminds me of another bikini I have that I really, really love. So when I saw this, I was like, is this gonna fit? But I love that they have a, like, never seen that on bikini bottoms. We wore what? This print is so cute. Like, ugh. So, so happy. Happy, happy, happy. Love, love buying bikinis. Love wearing bikinis. Love being in bikinis. But I want to be a bikini. The last retailer is Essence. My love for Essence is ridiculous. I stay on there. I just, I feel like they have the best collection of designers the best range as well. It's not just all super expensive and niche designs. They are wearable. I really like the designers they have on there. Obviously they have the main bait ones that everyone knows, but that's, Brew Essence is where, where I discovered Issa Boulder. Discovered quite a few brands on Issa Boulder. Oh, Knowles. Essence is a good one. Let's start with accessories. Picked up these. If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen these. Oh, Leng. Ah! Love these. Funny story, I wanted to get these for a friend for her birthday. But I was looking at them, I was like, she's not gonna like those. She, that's not her vibe of sunglass silhouette at all. But I said, do you know whose vibe it is? Mine. Yo. Talk to me nice. These. And they do, I will admit, I was gonna get them in yellow first and I saw they had this colorway. And I said, this colorway is way more me. And of course it's more me because this is literally all of my favorite sunglasses are brown or tortoise shell or this kind of shape with the aviator. Yeah, this is the last sunglass of this style I'm buying, I think. It's giving creature of habit. Just comfort, comfort, comfort. But I love them. I, I think these are my first Burberry glasses because I'm not familiar with this case. It's a bit awkward, not a fan of the case. It's like flimsy in the wrong places. Doesn't really fit well in my wardrobe. Here am I complaining, let me just stop complaining. But while we're on it, let's talk about accessories. As I said, I'm going on vacation. 
and just outside of vacation, just for summer anyway, the only thing about this one, I took a chance of this because it was on final sale. If I didn't like it, I would not have been able to return it. But I thought, worst comes to worst, I'm sure I I'm, 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 won't hate it, but it's different. It's a drawstring crochet bag. I can wear it crossbody, I can wear it on the arm. I just like it. <laughs> I'll be honest, there's not really too much of a song and dance. I think it's really cute. I like the colour, it's quite different. Don't have anything like this. And I'm going to be taking it away on vacation with me. So if you want to see how I'm going to style it, spoiler alert, it's probably going to be with shorts and a bikini because a bit is a creature of habit. Sorry, I keep forgetting to say where things are from. This is from Nicholas Daly. It's from a brand called Nicholas Daly. And then, this is another new brand. I really liked a lot of the bags from this brand. It's called Studio Amelia. I just thought they were interesting designs. Interesting, different, but I didn't want to buy at a good price. A good price point for what I would assume is a designer bag. I would assume that this is a designer brand or high-end luxury brand, shall I say. And the prices were good. The prices were kind of similar to uh, Caperni, Farfetch, uh, Farfetch, Caperni, by far. Um, what's the other really popular one that make cute bags for the reasonable price? Oh, I can't remember now, but that kind of pricing. So between like the mid, mid hundreds, not mid hundreds, but like 200 to 400 pounds, like Jackmus, similar, similar ballpark to that. How adorable. I really like it. Love this. This um, silver, what do you, do you know what it actually looks like? This is so bad. It looks like a napkin ring. That's what it looks like. But I think it's cute, simple branding. The only thing about that branding is it'll probably fade off. But I like it. They had it in heaps of different colors as well, but I wanted white because essentially I'm gonna wear the white bag, the blue dress that I need to try on, and then a pair of orange shoes that I've got. I think that's gonna look cute. I love that. A little bit of fun, a little bit of color. Yeah, cute. And I think white sometimes is nice. I have an alarming amount of white stuff for someone that wears a lot of makeup. So I'm a little bit concerned about that, I'll be honest. Even like the jacket, oh my God, I need to talk to you guys about this jacket. I'll do it at the end. Also from ASOS. This jacket, I made a vow to myself not to wear it makeup on. Today I wore it with makeup on and my friend was like, you've got makeup all over it. I'm gonna have to take it to the dry cleaners. Anyway, it's got a strap as well so you can wear it Across the body, I unlikely would wear it across the body unless I'm wearing it in the daytime. Then I pro pro would probably. It's a good size as well, it fits your phone in. This is one of the very few mini bags that I've seen that's cute and mini. Small enough size to look cute, but also practical in the sense that you can actually fit stuff in it. A lot of mini bags, it's your hopes and dreams and your ambitions. That's what you're fitting in that bag because nothing else is going in there. They didn't show the bag with the model on site. Sometimes I just like to see, obviously it has dimensions, but I like to see what it looks like next to the model body proportions, which I didn't have, so I took a chance on that, but I'm really happy I did, because it looks absolutely gorgeous! Lord, we're nearly at the finish line, guys. Got another pair of Jan Vito Rossi. I really like Jan Vito Rossi shoes. They are exceptionally comfortable. I'll be the first to admit, I am not a heel babe. I try, but I'm not a heel babe. But these are very comfortable. The Perspect obviously does a lot, but they are so cute. And they look really cute on the feet. I'm glad I took a chance with this. I wasn't sure if I was gonna like the Perspect rubber, but they are insanely, insanely comfortable. And they actually look very good and stylish. The heel is a nice heel side as well, not too kitteny. And I love the way they dress the feet. <laughs> <laughs> but lack of a better word, I like the way they dress the feet. So imagine this, the white bag and the blue dress. A summer dream? Oh, Ibiza me. Ibiza me right now. That is such a cute Ibiza dinner by the beach. These leggings, so cute from Knowles. These are so interesting and so fun and they just look so sexy. The only thing that I would probably change is that they wouldn't be as high-waisted. But it's kind of nice in the way because it really sucks you in. But I love the mixed fabric. There's a bit of mesh on here and just normal, what's this like? Just normal cotton. Cotton, a mix of cotton and mesh. The mesh is see-through enough for it to be like, oh, there's a mixed fabric, but not too see-through that it's like, that is her flesh, which is just the perfect amount of see-through. It's cut out, it's just ugh, insanely flattering. 
and I wasn't sure, I was dancing between whether to get a small or a medium and I ended up going for a small, I believe. Oh, between an eight and a 10, ended up going for the eight just because I thought it would fit better around the waist. I'm glad I did. The eight literally fits like a glove. <laughs> and the downside of that is any smaller or any bigger and it's not gonna fit the same, <laughs> which is so sad. Another new brand that I've discovered, this is from Maximilian, this top. Very, very cute. A lot of these look so strange just being held up like this, but you'll see it in the video cut out. I liked it because it was different. A similar silhouette. One thing about me, if I like a silhouette, I'll probably rinse it. So a halter neck, open back. Yeah, will do it for me every single time. Halter neck, open back, gorgeous, gorgeous. The only thing I will say about this is super delicate. I actually ripped a little bit of, yeah, I ripped. This, and I don't know if that's me being delicate or if that's just this being like not the best made. I don't know. I like it though, it's kind of, it's edgy in the sense that it's got a mixed fabric on the front as well, Simil similarly, uh, similar to the other one, it's got mixed fabric. And then the back has a buckle in, which is different, but looks cool. I don't know, I really like it. I gravitate towards it, I really messed with it. This, a mini skirt. Interesting, I was actually eyeing this up months and months ago. I was like, mm, no, I don't really want to buy that. Mm, no, no, no. And then it went to the sale and I was like, this I can mess with. This, for that price, I can I can get on board with that. Really cute. I particularly was drawn to this because it's a skirt, So it's a mini skirt, but it's got shorts underneath, which, praise God, not every day flash everyone your cheeks, you know? Oh, and then the last, the coat. The, guys, this coat is muy bien, 10 out of 10. Glorious, look at it. Look, it doesn't need any words. Sensational, sensational, sensational. 10 out of 10, it's from Weekday, but via ASOS. Really, really love it. Probably one of my favorite purchases from last year. Gorgeous, insane. That's all I have to say about that, really. It speaks for itself. My mouth is very dry. <laughs> my mouth is very, very dry. Oh, and I know you guys are gonna ask, this is from Justin Clinkett via Essence. Stunning, it's got like, stunning. Okay, my mouth is very dry. It's been a while since I've done a haul. I really love hauls. I forgot how much I love hauls, just sitting here talking about stuff. Oh, that was great. I hope you guys loved it. Thank you once again to my lovely ASOS family for sponsoring today's video. Let me know what was your favorite piece, guys. Let me know what was your favorite shoe? What was your favorite accessory? What didn't you like? I'm always interested to know where me and other people differ when it comes to dressing. So what didn't you like? What did you like? What did you love? What are you on the fence about? Let me know. Thank you so, so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. Bye.